Hi, I'm Ashley, and on my channel, I am talking about all the things that I am doing to get ready to move to Nicaragua, where my husband's from. So, hence the name Tropical Homestead. And today, I wanted to make a video about how I make this out of plastic grocery bags. So, I'm going to show you how I will take just your regular old grocery bag and turn it into something like this. This is crocheted. I'm not going to actually show you how to crochet, but I'll show you how to make the yarn, quote unquote, yarn for this. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is to make sure that our bag is pretty flat and you don't want to have big tears in the plastic because then your yarn has a tendency to break. So um, try to avoid that, make sure the bags are clean. So first of all, we're going to cut off just here at the end and I try to get as close to the edge as I can just so I'm not wasting as much bag. I am still coming up with an idea on how I can use these leftover bags because obviously that's going to be recycled um, or in a recycle bin and who knows what happens to it when, when it goes there. So I want to try to find some way of using that um, in my things here at home. And then we're going to cut off this edge right here. So cutting off the two bag ends and then we're going to fold it. And it doesn't have to be terribly even. And I usually do about two, like between two and two and a half inches for a good yarn. You don't want it too thin because then when you pull on it to crochet, it's um, going, not going to have as much strength. So I usually can get about five pieces um, pretty easily out of a Walmart bag. And I'm not even going to measure it because I going to practice using fractions here. Um, so I'm going to say that's about two and a half inch, maybe a little bit less there. And then just cut off that end piece as I have it lined up there. And then I will take this and I'm going to take my scissors in between, cut that in half and then cut that in half again. So you should end up, depending on the size of the bag, um, I know Goodwill has some big bags that you're obviously going to end up with more than five pieces to them. So what we do next, we kind of unravel that. And if you do find that one of your pieces has a tear, you can just kind of this one's not torn, so it's a little bit hard to demonstrate. You just kind of knot it up and pull this uh, tightly but carefully as you can. And you can still kind of crochet around that. It might be a little bit bulky. Hopefully I can get that back undone. Oops. And once you pull tight, sometimes it's kind of hard to get that back, back out. Okay. So to put the yarn together, we are going to take two loops put one inside the other, so you have that, and then you take one side and put it through the side of the other loop. So I think it's called like a, no it's not a slip knot. I'm not familiar with my Boy Scout knots here. But we're just going to kind of pull and just gently bring that down and keep gently pulling. You might have to Gonna move it down with your fingers just to get like the smallest knot because these can be a little bit harder to pull through when you are crocheting. So you want the knot as small as you possibly can. So there's two loops together. I'm gonna add on my next loop. Have that through the one I already started. Bring that back through. And then as you keep on adding loops, you do want to make sure that this one doesn't get lopsided because otherwise you're going to have um, lopsided yarn when you crochet and that's not going to be fun. So we're going to pull that together again. Usually when I do these, I like to do groups of 30 loops and I have my kids count them out. Um, kind of put them to work and make it go a little bit faster for me. And so then I just, I like to keep track of how many loops I'm putting in the bag or in the, in the basket that I'm crocheting or whatever the project may be. 
Um, so then I can divide that by five because I estimate about five loops per plastic grocery bag. And then when I get done with the project, I can say, well, this project took 40 plastic grocery bags to make. That always seems to really interest people when they look at the things that I make. And they're like, oh, wow, that's 40 grocery bags. That's amazing. So then just wind it up like you would with regular yarn. And you are ready to crochet. Usually I do about maybe 100 bags at a time, just cutting them up and then putting them together in the ball so they're ready to go for whenever I need them to crochet. So these are some baskets that I have uh, made recently. They are both approximately about the, the same size, depending on how thick you uh, make the yarn, they're going to turn out a little bit different. But um, these both were made with about 43 plastic bags, flexible, as you can see, you can kind of mold them and shape them how you want them to be. Um, one, and I'm making these for my house um, in Nicaragua, so I'm going through quite a few plastic bags to, to prep um, for anything I may need them for. I was thinking these would be like really good for on a shelf, like holding socks, or you could have it on your dining room table and put napkins inside. Um, trying to think of any other ideas I had. I don't know, just organizing anything you want, papers, um, it could be, you could even put fruit in there, different things like that. So, um, I hope that is something that you would be interested in doing if you like to crochet and, um, also if you'd like to recycle, it's a great way to use up those plastic bags that you may have laying around. And if you live near me and you have bags you want to get rid of but you don't want to crochet them, you are more than welcome to give them to me. I will take them because I'm actually almost out of yarn. I've been on this um, crocheting plastic bags uh, kick lately. So thank you for watching.